Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you Burberry's Spring Summer 2016 Velvet and Lace Collection in action. I have two nail polishes, both of which are limited edition. Black Cherry matches my Oxblood lip color, and we also have Optic White, which is limited edition for this season. I absolutely love this combo. I think it's very chic, it's minimal, it's edgy, but still modern and not too loud. So I highly recommend Burberry's nail polishes because they dry quickly and they're super easy to apply. Another Another limited edition piece in this collection is the Nude Gold Cream Eyeshadow. My favorite is actually the charcoal though because I love to pat this on top of any liquid or pencil eyeliner. It helps the color set and I diffuse it a little bit so that my eyeliner doesn't look quite so harsh. Last but not least for the limited edition pieces, these are the signatures in this particular lineup but how beautiful are these runway palettes. The birds are chirping for them, that's how gorgeous they are. I love the embossed especially because this white even though it looks so crystal clear like snow it's not too overwhelming on the skin it actually looks natural and it works really well as eyeshadow too now I did film the tutorial for this look indoors so the lighting varies a little bit because the Sun was coming in and out I figured I might as well take advantage of the various lighting situations to show you how different your makeup can look indoors versus outdoors and in various lighting conditions last but not least we can't forget about about the oxblood lip color because it is quite a dramatic look on me normally I like to diffuse the edges but today I thought I would show you how it looks full coverage I just think it's fun to mix it up a little bit you know try something different so as I always say different strokes for different folks but at the end of the day it's just makeup so enjoy it now without any further ado let me show you how I put this look together so as you can see, I do have some base makeup on. I have some essentials like brows, and I just wanted to walk you through what I put on my face. I used beige 26. I've gotten a little bit darker, so I went one shade up in the Fresh Glow foundation. Normally I mix this one with lighter colors, but today I just use this with a little bit of the Fresh Glow base. I mixed two pumps of each, and I applied it to my face, and I actually used a bit of the contour today down my nose and along the sides I set it with a little bit of the fresh glow powder in ochre so I also went up one shade in the powder so I love this contour stick because it's really natural you don't want to blend too much because it is very creamy but it works so well on my dry skin it doesn't accentuate pores it doesn't make my skin look flaky it just gives a little bit more natural shape especially because it makes my bridge look a little bit taller I'm actually going to use the highlight pen on my eyes as a base today. That's not something that I normally like to do, but I do think it makes for a really nice base. You don't have to use too much. I just like a little bit for a subtle highlight. Now I'm going to take the Nude Gold, which is a limited edition cream color, and I'm just going to sweep this all over the lids. I absolutely love this color. And when you apply the Fresh Glow base underneath, I feel like it does have a little bit more impact. It is a sheer color, but I think that's what makes it so wearable for every day. I'm going to accentuate the color a little bit further with the runway palette and I love this one I think it's a little bit more subtle a little bit more natural and it just works so well with the nude gold eyeshadow so I'm just going to pop that right on top focusing on the center of the lid you don't have to use a particularly large eye brush for this you can actually use your fingers and this just helps to intensify the effect and I like to keep it low on the lid just because I don't like too much color on my eyes these days. Don't forget to add a little bit along the lower lash lines. Now I'm going to take the charcoal cream color and using a brush, I like to use a larger pencil brush. I'm going to gently smoke out the outer corner and you don't have to use too much for this, just enough to give it a slightly elongated eye effect. I do love this technique. I use it a lot, but instead of using a winged shape, today I'm just going to build it across the entire lid, giving my eye a little bit more height. And this subtle diffused charcoal makes it possible to still see that pretty gold that we layered on. Now for lipstick. I can't talk quite as easily when I'm applying a darker shade like this, but 
I'm still managing a little bit. I think because of the runway shows, Oxblood has become the signature Burberry lip color. I really like it even though it is quite vampy. I think it looks best paired, at least on my complexion, with some lashes to give the face more balance, especially because I do have a slightly rounder face, but this kind of color makes your teeth look brighter. I personally love Oxblood with a red lip liner underneath because it brings out the berry tones a little bit more. Or you can swipe a little bit of the Oxblood in the Kiss this formula right in the middle just for a little bit of gloss I find that the Kisses formula in Oxblood has a little bit more red. This is also a little bit sheerer, so keep that in mind. Even though they are the same color, there are slight variations because the formulas are different. And that wraps up my take on Burberry's Spring Summer 2016 Velvet and Lace Collection. So give it a try, tag me on Instagram, let me see your work, and I will like your pictures. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone, and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye.